Hello everyone, welcome to my Nasdaq YouTube channel. In this video, I'm gonna show you another online proxy you can create for your own to use. It's high performance and easy to deploy. There's a multiple ways to deploy. You can deploy to the Cloudflare pages. Also, you can use in Cloudflare workers, which I'm gonna demonstrate in this video. Also, you can deploy to the VPS or using a Docker. Depending on which way you like most for the demo purpose, I'm gonna use Cloudflare Workers. But as you know, Cloudflare Workers has some limitation. 100,000 connections. If you want to see the English version, there's a English version on GitHub to show you description and the features for this project. It also shows you how to deploy to the pages, workers on Cloudflare. VPS, Docker deployment. It's very simple to do. That's why I demonstrate here. Eventually, you will get a proxy like that. I'm gonna use in Cloudflare workers to do that. Uh, if you want to watch other videos for the other proxy, I demonstrate in my channel. So you can search on my channel or go to video description to find out those two videos talk about how to create your own online proxy site for now let's jump into it and start the deployment using cloudflare to deploy your online proxy as mentioned from this github project is super fast and super easy we are looking for the like five minutes to get this job done but of course you need to have Cloudflare account first and you also need a domain. So I do have my own domain created before. Uh, you can register eu.org domain. Just watch my list video for eu.org free domain for yourself. Uh, once you have that, just go to the workers and pages and then you can start to create your own workers and your own pages. We are gonna follow in the guide from this GitHub project to deploy to Cloudflare workers or if you already have VPS or Docker environment that can be done here as well, which I will not demo in this video, but the steps is very similar. Assuming you already got your Cloudflare account and you got your domain, um, if now just watch my video on that. Um, so now we just need to create uh, your own worker. Create, so you can create the workers and the pages, um, which both can be used to deploy this project. I personally like the Cloudflare workers, so we're gonna use that. Create worker. Um, gonna give a name. I'm using site proxy. Deploy. This will deploy this hello world example. Hello world example for you. But for us, of course, we're gonna change the code. We're gonna, gonna use this hello world code. We're gonna use our site proxy code, which you can get from this link. Catch Ctrl A, Ctrl C, copied everything out and then put into a notepad. The reason why is that there's a two changes we need to make. One is you need to change this to your own domain, which we got when we deploy our first worker. So you will get this subdomain from workers.dev, but we're gonna change that in the code because that's the customization you have to do. So this uh, STP, we're gonna completely remove that and then paste your URL in there. So that's the one we're gonna use for now. Later on, we're gonna use in our own domain. This is first search replace, and the second one is a, like a token. 
um, it's full of access password. If you put it empty, it means no password is required for access. Uh, but you may not want anyone knows your website who can access to it. You want them to have this access password at least. So let's do that. Let's put it in there. Just search it again. Let's go into the top. Search down. So I'm going to use a uh, buy one sec as an access token. So then that's all changes you need to make. Ctrl A, Ctrl C, copy everything and paste it back to here. So you're going to remove this hello world code and paste everything and then deploy. So the worker will be available at this URL. So version saved. Now we're gonna go back. Deployment not found. Just refresh it. You can double check to make sure the code has been properly sent here. You can search your security token. So all seems okay. Let's give it a try now. Let's visit it. You will see this for, for not found. Let's put something behind it, which is our security code. Magically happens. We got this website. So now we need to enter the web address we need to access to test it. First thing we want to test Google. Google IPv4. And what is my IP? So I got 108.162.241.230 and you can see ISP is healthy because the Cloudflare workers is hosting our serverless online proxy. So whatever we are accessing from, it will look like we are coming from Cloudflare company. So that's how we can hide it, our IP and the bypassing restriction from the internet and then go to the website we want. So we are using Cloudflare subdomains to access the, our online proxy, but we may want to use our own domain to do that. Uh, that is simple since we have our own domain. So you can use either one, I have two of them. Um, so I'm gonna use this one and go to DNS. I'm gonna create that record. Let's call it site proxy. So I'm gonna give Render IP, which is a Google DNS IP here. Enable the proxy. We're gonna add it, save it. So the IP address doesn't matter because we can route it. We're gonna just use it to main route it to our worker. So now we're gonna create in our worker's route. So what we do need to do is add a route. So we know our domain site proxy dot IP protect. We use the org. So everything gonna go to our worker side proxy. So basically we're telling them um, anything for visiting side proxy, we're gonna send to the side proxy here, this worker. And we go back to our worker because there's one more change on the code. The domain, the URL. So we're gonna added code we were using cloud fair subdomain for it but now we're gonna change it to our own domain so we're gonna use a site proxy dot it proxy sec.eu.org so that's our own new domain so we're going to use that rather than using a subdomain from Cloudflare worker so deploy again so in, as you can see now we have two URLs one is site proxy 
that our own domain. One is Cloudflare Workers Subdomain. Save and deploy. Version saved. So now let's try with our own domain. And don't forget your secure code. You need to put a slash behind it. Perfect. And we can try some common sites, the author listing here. Um, the default home page, that's a default home page. The author doesn't allow you to change because he's already obfuscated the code, so you don't have a way to change that. Let's try DuckDuckGo AI chat. Let's get started. So you can see you can use in this four different chat models. So let's try GPT-40 mini. Next. Agree. Let's have a chat. Right away, they gave you a way using NGINX to create that online US proxy. That's pretty cool. So that's pretty much everything for this today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. And then hopefully you can build your own online proxy in a couple minutes. Thank you for watching. Give me a thumb up if you like it. If you have some comment questions, please leave it on this video. Thank you for watching. See you in my next one.